guys and dolls and welcome back to Lowy Georgia. Welcome if you're new, I'm very happy to have you. Today I'm going to be doing a video sharing my advice about moving to LA and just my tips for anyone who wants to come out here. So number one, everything that you expect about Hollywood is very different from when you get here. Like, all of the films and the TV shows glamorize Hollywood and then you get here and you're like, oh, there's cockroaches everywhere, there's fighting everywhere, there's people who do drugs everywhere, like, but that's kind of true with everything. But I hate cockroaches and I first moved here and I went on Hollywood Boulevard and there was like so many of them and I was like, oh, what is this? Um, I did not like that at all. And then they make, they depict Hollywood to look like really clean. And it's just not, like, it's just not. It's not as glamorous as you think it is. So that is number one. Number two, it's gonna be a massive culture shock to you to wherever you are now. It's gonna be a big shock to you because it's very different from where you are. I don't know where you are located right now, but for me, it's different because, you know, London's cold and they have a time zone and it's 5,000 miles away. It's very different from how it, from how it is here. So for me, <laughs> coming here was very nerve wracking at first. Have I got a mark on my neck? What is that? Yeah. Coming here was very different for me personally, just because there's so many things that are different in London from LA. So it's not what I was used to. And I was like, oh, okay, okay, gotta get used to all this. So it's a lot to get used to. So three, you're gonna learn a lot about yourself in general, you're gonna grow a lot. And whether you have roommates or you're by yourself, I was by myself. I moved here when I was 18 years of age and I moved here by myself. Um, and I've been living here for three years ever since. And I can, I can gladly say that when I first came here, I was very, very different to how I am now. I've enabled myself to grow within time. I'm proud of myself for that. And yeah, I'm definitely liking the person who I am today. Number four, I'm truly grateful for the person that I am now. And I think moving to LA was the best decision that I made because I don't know what I would have done if I was still in London. I really don't. I don't think I would have done anything. I really don't think I would have. So I'm glad I'm here. <laughs> Uh, this is definitely the best decision I ever made because in a way I always wanted to be here since I was younger. I always knew in my head I was going to go to LA no matter what and I was going to make it happen. And God brought me all the way here because he wants me to excel. So I'm very grateful for that. So yeah, I'm very... Before I get mushy, I'm going to move on to the next thing. So it's still crazy to wake up sometimes i wake up and i'm like oh my god i'm actually here like wow this is really cool and yeah there's there's friends that there's i have friends in london that i miss a lot my dear friends that i miss but hopefully i'll see them very soon whether they come here or i see them a little bit i don't know but you know who you are you know who you are So the pros of living in LA, there's a lot. <laughs> For me, there's a lot. The weather, first of all, is amazing and I love waking up and having the sunshine into my room, onto my face. Good morning, it's nice to wake up to that. And um, even when it's dark, it's not really that like cold. What I always loved about traveling and going on holiday is when it's late at night and it's dark, but it's still warm. I love that so much. and. Very different story if you are in London or anywhere that is cold. When it's dark, it's freezing. <laughs> I, I can't deal with the cold weather. I just don't like cold weather in general. It's just not, it's not my vibe. And it doesn't make me feel very positive. Like if it starts raining, I'm just like, yeah. When it does rain in LA though, I found that it's always raining heavily for three days and then it leaves. But it just makes me feel like I'm back home in London when it rains. Like, it's like torrential rain. It's like a lot of rain. <laughs> it's very heavy. Um, yeah, I was walking home one time on Hollywood and it was like torrential rain and I only had a little leather jacket so I put it like over my head and like ran home. It was so funny. But like at the time it wasn't funny 
I was just like, what is this? Why do I feel like I'm back home? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so the weather. The people, I think a lot of people are very nice here and I like them. Um, not as frantic as it is back home. Everyone's kind of focusing on getting to work on time and all of that stuff. I don't know, it's just very English in it. Um, but yeah, I like the people over here. Number three is career. So my career is here, is where I am right now. And I'm, I really am happy that I'm here right now because my career needed to have that next step. And I think it's definitely better to be here because there's so many different people who are trying to do a lot of different things, very creative people. And it makes me more motivated and inspired um, given the fact of where I am, exactly where I am and need to be. So I love the fact that everybody's an artist in a way, everybody's different, everybody has a creative talent within them. So I like that a lot. But you, you really feel that, you really feel that artist vibe when you come here and you move here and you see it everywhere. Like everybody is in the industry somehow or different industries in the entertainment industry. It's really cool to see a bunch of people who are doing different things but kind of tie all together. I like that. The food is amazing. Hello. I love Italian food, as I already mentioned in my other video. <sighs> if I could just eat pasta for the rest of my life, I probably would. But then I can't eat pasta all the time. I had to cut it down to once a week now, because I can't do it. I just can't do it. <laughs> um, Taroni is my favorite restaurant, and I would go there all the time and have they have this spicy penne pasta, but they have tomato sauce and chili in it, and it's really spicy, but it's really, really good. And it's hands down my favorite pasta in LA, I would have to say. It used to be John and Benny's, but I like Tironi now. It's my favorite. It's my favorite. I love it so much. So yeah, the, the food's amazing here. You can have all different types of food. You can have takeout. I also like Sweet Green, which is a salad place, which a lot of people have here, but that's really good. My very first video actually of this year was me doing a sweet a sweet green a sweet green mukbang. It was really good. I'll link that down below if you want to see that. But um yeah. Food is amazing here. <laughs> I love food. Food's amazing anywhere, but particularly here I like it. Okay, so the cons. Now I just particularly don't like Customer service, and you know, you know, when you have to like ring in and to ask a question or something or fix something, but they have you on hold for like the longest time, it is very frustrating. I had to fix the alarm the other day, and so I had to be on the on the phone, and it was just like a long hold, and I was just like, I know it's like very first world problems, like oh, you you had to wait to speak to someone on hold, oh, sweetie. <laughs> Here's a gold star. Traffic. I mean, right now it's not really that much traffic, but when it is, it is bad traffic that annoys me. I also need to get a car. I need to get a car this year. You guys need to pass a grading test and I need to get a car. I really, really want to get a car so I can just drive around LA right now. I think that would be really cool. I've had a lot of bad experiences with some people here. So I'm kind of like always trying to get through, like, I'm always trying to not allow my past to affect my view of people that I know or people that I have just met, you know what I mean? So, I don't know, I've just seen a lot of weird, crazy shiz in this, in this Hollywood, in this town we call Hollywood. There was a lot of crazy stuff going on, so I've experienced a lot of crazy things, so I, I kind of like, sometimes I let my judgement fall back on my past, but I shouldn't. So, um, no, yeah, the, the, I have a core group of people around me who I really love and trust with my whole entire life and my whole, oh, I love them. I love them so much. And they're very genuine people and that makes me happy. So advice, now that I'm gonna move on to giving to anybody who truly seriously wants to consider moving here, you have to keep your wits about you. I mean, that's the same in anywhere that you go. You should really keep your wits about you, but just know that it's kind of a crazy ride out here. 
everything's happening at every single moment of the day and it's kind of wild and wacky if you've got a strong head on you and determination, confidence, focus and motivation you're going to make it hit and it takes a while to even be considered a star like it takes a while, it takes hard work, dedication and time it's going to take a lot of time to be what you want to be here so just know and you just have to have a lot of patience and faith in what you're doing and actually believe that it will happen if you materialize it in your mind you will hold it in your hand so i think definitely you have to be very strong willed and headstrong to succeed in this town so you have to you have to stand out and you have to do it with every single thing in you you have to do this with everything with everything that you have Okay, Wisdom with Lily Georgia. Now, if you, if you do have any questions about LA or moving to LA, if you just moved to LA and you need some questions or advice, then please feel free to message me on my Instagram, Lily Georgia LA, and I will get back to you soon as I see my message because I'm always on my phone. Um, but if you do have any questions about LA, just ask me and I'm, I'd be very happy to help you. I've lived here for three years, I've seen a lot and I've been here for a long time. So if you have any questions, please feel free to message me. But I hope that you enjoyed this video guys. I hope you found it helpful if you do want to move here or if you're just thinking about it right now. And I love you guys so much. One quick announcement before I do go is I actually just purchased a YouTube background for my YouTube videos now so you won't see this anymore but I can't tell you what color or what pattern it is yet but just know it's super cute and it's super aesthetical so that's gonna arrive tomorrow so you will see that in next week's videos so I am so excited for you to see it and I got some little fairy lights and I'm just gonna jazz everything up and make it look professional. I don't know why it's taking me so long to get a YouTube background, but here we are now, and this is what we gotta do for our YouTube journey. So I'm excited, excited for you to see. And yeah, this color really goes with every season, so it's like, I'm excited to use it. I love you guys, and I will see you next week with my new background. As always, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.